YouTube time to tap in in today's chatter day. What I got was we're breaking down solo trios. Now, playing man down is one of the most important things you can do in Warzone to up your game. I try to do it at least once a day when I'm on stream. Try to get solo trio, solo quad work. Trying to get my game better by being able to take on more than one enemy at a time. If you got teammates like mine and constantly sell and suck at the game, then you're probably going to like this video. So, what I'm going to be doing is breaking down each clip and trying to go through the movements and the mobility. If you watch the mechanic video that I put out a couple weeks ago, this is going to be that next step in the right direction to help you become a better Warzone player and go through different situations where I'm successful and I fell in this video. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Make sure you leave a like, give it a thumbs up, or it's a bird up. Leave a sub. I'll see you guys in the stream. Before this first clip, I just posted this on my Instagram, and this is probably one of my favorite clips that I've ever put out. Honestly, the way that I can maneuver around this team, hit my shots, and just stay light on my feet, I put this team in a blender. So I hit this first snipe, I chase the snipe, and I go up the building and try to wreak it. Let's get into this one. Hit that snipe, immediately chasing it. Rebirth, you can kind of get away with a lot. Going up. Right here. I see three for sure, right? So I know this is a full team. Get ready to sweat. Somehow not a headshot. Try to pre-fire. One hook's right. Now I have no idea where the two are at. Thank God to get that knock. I have no plates. So I try to peek around this first corner just to see where the gauge where the situation's at. Get the thirst. Trying to see where they're at. So I got the UAV up right now. They're both on the left side. If you guys can both see that. Uh, if, you, if you guys can see that on the UAV. They're both on the left side of me right now. I see that kid push me behind. I know that I have one behind me right now. And now there's one in front of me. So I have to kill this kid in front of me. Because I have nothing between me and him. And I have this barrier to my left between me and the last guy. Thank God he was tax sprinting at me. I peek, try to go back, thinking that the third guy is probably chasing me. Just having like that sense in the back of my head. Spidey senses. Don't see it. So I'm going to go try to chow him on the other side. Hopefully he's not expecting it. Don't see it. So he's trying to chase me, right? This is a bad teammate right here for him because he should give him call outs the entire time. But he's not. Cover who? And then I go down and get that last guy. So just making sure that I'm bouncing around a, a barrier, you know what I mean? So when I was thinking about this video, I was thinking about how do I describe rotations within a fight? I want to try to think about it as three different rings. The first ring is a very, very small close quarters ring where you have an entire team on you. And all you can do is just bob and weave, use those mechanics, those J turns, those B hops, all within that small, small rotation, right? So that would be this rooftop, for example, would be that first ring. The second ring would maybe be going down into the building and trying to, you know, reposition myself into a fight, but still staying within shooting distance. That third ring is completely disengaging and trying to get a different angle on the team that you're fighting. So think about that for these future clips and for when you get into gunfights, is do I, am I comfortable right here? If not, I need to maneuver somewhere else. And if I need to, if I'm getting my ass kicked, I gotta completely disengage and reconvene. So the second clip, this is a solo trio work, same type of thing, right? If, if I'm using the zone or the rings as an analogy, this is all first ring. Maybe a little bit of second, because I try to disengage a little bit, but you're gonna see right here, there's a full team of snipers in front of me. I'm a solo trio, and I get this first pick, and then I'm trying to disengage and read what the team's gonna do. Try to counter off of their mistakes. We got one beam. Can't get the thirst. Immediately see both of the other teammates just perk up. Oh so, my god. Now I have to back off, read the situation. I'm plating. I'm getting behind cover, hoping that one of them pushes me. They're probably getting a res. 
The one completely just in the, goes in the middle of the field and just gets down like an idiot. Still can't get a thirst. I push Deddy. And then I hit a stun trying to hit over the wall, but it hits this bush in front of me. That really just hit the bush. No shot that actually just hit the bush. So just got to react quickly to this guy going over the wall. Push though. Now I have for sure one hurt, one full. Don't know where the third guy's at. Okay. Plating, I hear the res. I know that I have full plates. I'm ready to rock and roll with my bullfrog because there's one guy super weak. First guy was weak. This last guy, re peeks on the wall, full body peeking me for an easy, easy kill. Literally get shit on. Y'all suck dick, bro. Literally just get fucking demolished. Don't fucking push me ever again. Don't shoot at me ever, ever again. I'll fucking kill you and the whole fucking team. Bitches. <laughs> um, this this one right here is another solo trio work. Um, they're all top blue, and I deady up, try to get one off of the roof, and we'll play this one through. I hear him. Doesn't hear me. I hear the middle steps up the ladder. He's busy looking at somebody else. Just listening right now, right? Because I know that they're for sure under me. He sem texts this. I get out of it so he doesn't try to get a hit marker so he doesn't think that I'm there. Go back. And I know he's going to come up the ladder like an idiot. Now I know that the third one is probably down under next to the guy that I just knocked. So instead of just sitting here, right? The guy knows that I'm up here. So if I sit here right here on top of this building... They will probably get a res, and I have a 2v1 again. I have a 1v1 right now. I got to be the aggressor. And when you're in these man-down situations, you can't always let them push you. You have to be able to put pressure and allow them to make mistakes. Stun out. He's stunned, and that was it. Get shit on! <laughs> so... Another solo trio. I got a scav working downtown. I hear steps in this building. You guys know if you're in stream how much I hate downtown. And we just got to create our own timing with this. I hear the guy come up the zip. Very unfortunate. Sorry, brother. He got slowed up for me. So I actually sit here and I hear the guy up top on the metal. And I just sit here and wait for him. No, he's gonna peek me. Reload before I re-peek that because there's probably a third one right there. So I just want to be ready to either thirst with this full mag so I can have more ammo, or I'm already challenging the third guy. Dude, see you know what I'm saying? Dude, I'm just fucking team my these dumbasses. This was a good day. I'm just this was a good day on stream. Okay, so this is the last clip of this video. This is where I fail. And this is where I want everybody to think about not only just being in those 1v3 scenarios, but end game. End game is everything. My win percentage is terrible. Me and the boys go balls to the wall, super aggro almost all the time, which usually gets us killed. One of my teammates tries to go get the res, but there were enemies camping the buy, the last buy left. And I knew on this zone, this a buyback was not the move. I gave him my money and said, you do you, but I'm not going to follow you. So we're walking in zone. The zone is very wide open in the middle. So if there's not cover inside zone, you just want to walk it in and play the edges. So full team in the Bertha, try to put some shots out. Another guy behind the Bertha, get it down on him, and I'm immediately throwing my precision. I wish I would have saved it, but I didn't know how many there were. Got it down, and he got the vehicles out. So my teammate, if you see on the top left, starts taking off for the buy. Try to get her teammate back. There's guys camping it, which I knew that there would be. 
ass. What the fuck? Get the guy rotating to my teammate. Gas is about to come in. I'm not going to be able to get res. So I have to move for zone. I'm rotating back the way that I know that we came from. Because to me, in, in my head, that's the safest rotation. There's only trees in the middle. There's I'm not on high ground. So I have to play this very, very carefully. I'm just riding the zone in. That way there's nothing behind me. I hear shots up here. There's a Bertha up there. Probably with dudes next to it. I'm just trying not to be seen. Maybe try to get a pick. They have snipers. So I have to be very, very careful. As you'll see. They start tagging me up. Trying to go between trees. My goal ultimately is to get to that shack to my left. Now the Bertha's pulling up at me. I don't know if this guy's a part of the same team or not. He's not. We ended up going to where I wanted to go. Just playing it patient. Getting the pick. So now there's four people left and there's two teams. That team's getting shot from a different team, I think. One's so focused on you though. One's so focused on you. So I have a couple decisions here, right? I have this tree only thing I can get to. I want to try to get to the shack. I can go right where there's still just trees between me him and i or i try to go back up the hill that i just came from on behind me try to ride gas in a little bit take a little bit of gas damage so i can get closer to the shack <coughs> trying to stay low stay in the gas being mobile tax sliding just trying to not have many shots he hits one heady on me but we're full plate again So the other team got a kill and this is a 1v3. I have a full team versus me. 1v3. This is where I want you guys to think if you're watching this is even when you fail in these situations, which I do here, you got to think about what could I have done better? And that's what I want to hopefully hear from you guys in the comments about what do you think about different situations and positioning is almost everything in this game. How you take fights, how you move about the map, rotating, zones, all that kind of stuff. And here, I have good zone. They have snipers, though, and Bertha's. So I get one knock. Hindsight, I'm going to tell you based off of what happens, I get pushed and they kill me. What I should have done here is I have one knock, so I have a 1v2. Like I said earlier, is it's great to be aggressive when you're man down situation so you put the pressure on them i have a bertha right next to me that you can see in the mini map i should have pushed them and just at least try to make an athletic play instead i'm being a little bit too patient but hindsight's 2020 seeing if i can get another peek if i get another knock i have no idea where they're at they're probably behind the bertha i wish i had that precision airstrike the one gets in the bertha i still hear one sniping left I know he's gonna push me. So there's that's the sniper. One's in the Bertha, and the third is somewhere. Probably with these guys somewhere. This guy gets shit on. So here, I need it again, ego chow more than anything. But I was trying to let them push me one by one. If they were but if they're good players, they're gonna all push me at once. Which is what they pretty much said. I got stunned and it was GG's. So he stuns they from the kill cam you can see they pushed me at both sides and it was ggs i hope some of these videos helped i know it was a quick one i wanted to try to just grind these out if you're not playing to the full team count you got to be on your feet you got to be the aggressor and you got to make smart rotation what you're trying to do is capitalize on the enemy's mistakes don't let them push you to the point where you have to corner up like i just did in that last clip but Hindsight's 2020. I hope this video helped. Hopefully, we got some more sweats getting better at the game. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you guys in stream.